Hello, welcome back to the channel. This is Craft Computing, and as always, I'm Jeff. Today's video is a little bit different. I'm doing kind of a vlog style video because uh, while well, I don't have time to set up my audio, and I've got a lot of projects kind of up in the air right now, so this is what you're gonna get. Uh, I tweeted out some pictures earlier this week. I got a stellar deal on that guy right there. That is a 2009 eight core Mac Pro Tower. Uh, I only paid $340 for it. So what can you do with one of these? Well, you know me, I'm all about value and best bang for the buck. Uh, so I got on eBay and I bought a pair of X5650 2.66 gigahertz six core CPUs. And I'm gonna up this thing to 64 gigs of RAM as well as throw in an SSD. And we're also gonna go Pascal because Nvidia just released uh, 10 series graphics card drivers for OS X uh, High Sierra. So we're gonna put my GTX 1050 Ti in this rig. Uh, I'm gonna give you some before and after numbers, but this really isn't a benchmarking video and it's not really a tutorial on how to do this. This is just an interesting project that I found and what can you do with one of these? Let's dig in. One other thing I forgot to mention before we get started, uh, one of the reasons I got this at such a good price was the guy I bought it from was actually a smoker. Um, so we're gonna do a little bit of deep system cleaning here. This is not gonna be just pull the processor tray out and swap a couple things out. I haven't been able to have the system on for very long because it kind of stinks up my, <laughs> my office in here. But uh, we're gonna give this thing a nice thorough clean and see what we can do with it. Here we go. All right, we'll take our first break here. Uh, I've already uh, vacuumed and blown out the, the lower fans, which are behind this grill here and this grill here already. Uh, those weren't too terribly bad. Uh, we found our first bit of uh, nastiness right, right up here. Let's see if I can focus that, there we go. Um, with uh, the SATA cables for the CD-ROM drives. Um, yeah, don't smoke kids, it's not good for you. Beer break. Mm. All right, back to our previously scheduled vlog. All right, so the cleaning and basic reassembly is done. Uh, really wasn't as dirty in the top section as I thought. The fan was certainly a little bit gummed up with, uh, with dust and, and whatnot. It is almost an eight-year-old system at this point, so that's kind of to be expected. Uh, like I said, this was a smoker's computer. Uh, I think I got, for the most part, all of it taken care of. The only thing I was smelling anymore was coming out of that upper power supply fan uh, after blowing out the bottom section with an air compressor. Uh, I think we got it all cleaned out. Uh, it's looking pretty good. And now the fun part. Now we get upgraded. I just wanted to point out, uh, if you've never done an upgrade to one of these towers before, um, it's not exactly for the faint of heart. The CPU mount is unlike most in that 
Uh, there's actually no retention bracket on the CPU socket. But uh, when you're doing this kind of upgrade, you want to be really careful not to bend the pins. Um, that's uh, something that uh, can ruin this board, and these boards are quite expensive, upwards of three to four hundred dollars if you ruin one for the uh, the dual socket system. So, just something to keep in mind if you're a, a novice to this process. Uh, pay very close attention to what you're doing. And two seconds after I turn the camera off, this is oddity number two. These CPUs are delitted from the factory. The difficult thing about this is actually when you're tightening back down the heat sink to the motherboard with the CPU underneath, you can over tighten this board or this uh, heat sink and damage the socket underneath. So a lot of care needs to be done. Uh, you do not need to wrench this down. It just has to make contact with the top of the heat spreader on the new chip. So here is my new chip compared to the old chip. So be very careful when tightening these down. Bonus beer! Mmm. Yeah. Oh, rare episode. It's a twofer. Hold on. There we go. Sorry guys, I'm really tall. Uh, you guys get to experience with me. Is this a success or not? Let's take a look here. Hey guys, so welcome back. Uh, it's about midnight right now. I started on this vlog about 8 or 8.30 tonight, so uh, it's been about a three and a half hour project. Um, the cleaning and install of all the parts, that only took uh, maybe an hour to 90 minutes. So the rest of the two hours I've been spent uh, troubleshooting why these uh, six core processors aren't working. I'm gonna share all my successes on this channel with you guys. I'm also gonna share all my failures because well, I work full time, this is a hobby. I don't have time to hide my failures and still be able to produce videos on a weekly basis. So uh, this is where we're gonna leave you. Whoa, 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 we can't end a video like that. This is now Saturday morning. Remember how I mentioned that you need to be really careful about the tension on the top of the heat sink as you're screwing those down if you're not going to delete your CPU? Well, that's exactly what bit me here. Uh, the firmware was fine, everything was still fine as far as the software and the hardware goes, and I didn't bend any pins, but my pressure down on the CPU was not, I, I, I don't think it was level across the uh, the top of it, and I think it ended up lifting my CPU on one side or the other. Uh, after fiddling with the tension on here, I managed to get it to post. We now have 12 cores and 64 gigs of RAM fully working, as well as the 1050 Ti. Uh, I'm really excited. I'm gonna post a quick benchmark here, probably right here next to me while I'm finishing up the video. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. If you have any more questions about this build, please do let me know down in the comments below. Make sure to like the video. Quick announcement before we go. On October 18th at 8 p.m. Pacific time, we're gonna be relaunching Talking Heads as a weekly staple of this channel. It's gonna be me and a special guest sitting around drinking beer and talking about tech for an hour. So please join us for that every single Wednesday on this channel. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And as always, I'll catch you next time.